and I peep you and I lost respect for you when you say you about this culture and this music because you ain't. The day you feel you can question me being where you're from, Chevy Chase, Maryland, graduated in 98, you ain't got no word in this city, it's my city. Any of you radio personalities think you want smoke? Call me Mr. Chimney. I want smoke. You know why? Because you can never, you don't work hard as me, bro. You're a sidekick in this city. Sidekick in the morning. Sidekick on your own show. On Complex, you look like a sidekick. Tell Complex to cut me a check tomorrow. Because I made you mad at a night. I'm going to get you some numbers that show is trash on Complex. You're about the culture, but you bring up that thing, dog shit, to interview. Who you think? We stupid? You think I'm stupid? Like, it's like I can't say shit, with, you know what I mean, without getting beat up with the stick. You know what I mean? So, I'm still a real person. I'm still going to be real with me. But when it's talking about certain situations, I, I don't care about I don't really care about talking about them at this point in time. It's so much went into that. Like, we done everything to make that fuck happen. You know what I mean? You can have some 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 some, some airheads out here that, that believe that, that, that you know, that I didn't want to fight or whatever. You can, you, you can take your own assessment of it. You can deal like, you can, you can believe what you want. But at this point in time, I know you can understand what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I had. To, I went country a little bit. I'm gonna come back up with it. Um, but uh, yeah. But it, it took too much energy, man. I, I too much energy was put into that. Too much promotion, not only for me but my team, because we really, really, really tried to make that fight happen. And they want. They like Barry Hearn said, six to eight years. I ain't in that plan, babe. I'm not because I'm too dangerous. I'm too experienced. I'm too explosive. I'm too powerful. I'm too much of everything. You know what I mean? And that's the facts. These are facts. If not, then the fight would have been happening. How can you get other fighters in there that's lesser than I? That have done lesser than I. But they, they get in there and fight for zinnies and stuff when it comes to me. You know. Y'all know how the story went. And with that being said, I just don't have no interest, man. They didn't, they didn't, they like... If the fight happened in April, which I'll, I, you know, going to fight Dylan White because they said they was going to fight Dylan White. Thank you, Eddie Hearn. I'm going to play devil's advocate for a second, you know, just for Eddie Hearn, just for a little bit. Um, One reason for them to fight Dylan White is because while they're represented by the same person, Eddie Hearn, and because Dylan White fought Joseph Parker and beat Joseph Parker worse than Joshua beat. You know, um, Joshua went straight technique for jo Joseph Parker, and that worked out well for him. But what Dylan White did to Joseph Parker, ugh, that was rough, man. So I, I can see why the British, you know, the British boxing fanatics would want to see that. But I highly doubt they want to see that more than they want to see Wilder. You know, so again, this all goes back to the failed fight between Joshua and Wilder. And, you know, I'd like to think that blame comes from both sides of the pond. But from where I sit, it seems like Eddie Hearn, man. Eddie Hearn's been hating on this fight, uh, the Tyson Fury and Wilder fight. He's been hating on it. He's been trying to set up something for... Uh, Joshua and all of that. And let's not forget, he's been promoting Pavetkin and Joshua. Again, a good fight, but nobody saw it. Hence why people are addressing it two, three weeks later. You know, it wasn't relevant to what's going on right now in boxing. Don't get me wrong, Pavetkin is right up there, man. He's a former champ. He lost his title against uh, Joshua. I'm pretty sure he was in the top five of uh, maybe nearly all of the rankings. But he's no Wilder, man. He's no Wilder. Back to you, Wilder. So, I mean, he said he was going to fight. He slipped up, though. He slipped. He slipped. 
But he, you know, he, he told the truth, and that shit was fun. I ain't gonna. But well, you know, man, how many times? Is, how many times people gonna come up with things? How many times you gonna? How many times you gonna dodge a situation where where people want to see the fight can happen? But it's gonna take the fans involved. You're gonna take them and say, Yo, I'm sick of this shit. Whether you biased or unbiased to the situation, it's gonna take you. Say, so, you know what? Forget it. We want this fight. Make it happen. Were you happy with the 15 million that was offered to you as a flat? I wasn't happy. No, I wasn't happy. Because I know my worth. I know, like I so said. Why did you accept it if you were? Because, because I knew I was gonna knock them out. I, I wanted to do it for the fans. You know what I'm saying? I knew how big this was for, for for the fans, not only for the fans but for myself. I knew my work, but like we couldn't find Aldo, so I started calling him Aldo, Jose Waldo, hashtag Jose Waldo, and tell him meet me in Brooklyn in February. Let's get the real one.